Hello everyone, this is Akai, and welcome back to another episode of Fun Day Sunday, and we have a replay that was sent in from our clan's almighty leader, uh, Pizza, and he is joined with Lord Ethelon and the Sharn Horse and Ski in the Ganais Now, and Pizza is in the Ganais Now as well, and they sent in this replay, well, demonstrating a particular tactic on... Uh, two brothers that is well not very well liked amongst the communities and it is a tactic that is either hilariously fun and actually works out very well or goes hilariously wrong and then just goes down uh the shithole so we'll see how things progress uh so they are gonna start to go ahead and push towards D. Uh, the friendly team is all limbing training over to A. And we will see how that works. Honestly, I've never personally tried this particular tactic. And hopefully a lot of people already know what tactic I'm talking about when we're talking about two brothers. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be that one. If you don't know, well, you'll find out here in just a moment. And I have to say, I kind of miss the old version of two brothers back in the day when uh there used to be a lot more islands uh where a is currently uh is at the moment definitely miss that but anyways uh as you can probably tell they're starting to pull back in and the enemy team is starting to push towards a and it looks like there is a random battleship all the way north actually i'm kind of curious what battleship that is this is the good nice now sniping yeah i never never recommend sniping with the guys now you're not gonna hit something very reliably so yeah i don't really know what he's doing well as you can see our comrades are pushing in uh towards the middle and they're gonna start pushing up the mid but there is a plane that's flying around now normally whenever you try to push up mid uh you are going to get spotted especially if there's a carrier in the game the gear a carrier is going to almost instantly spot A1 going up mid. Uh, but for this instance, A Omaha has decided to push mid as well. And, well, two Ganais now in the Sean Horse versus A Omaha. Well, you probably will know uh, how things will end uh, for this poor Omaha. Yeah, two Sabos dead omaha kill goes to ski so very nice job there and our trio is currently being joined up with a mutsuki and a nicholas so things are going to be interesting at the very least and it looks like the omaha did get torpedoes off and the nicholas does take one and allows ski to get by without any problems from those torpedoes so Maybe somewhat unnecessary. Probably should have let that Gnizenow take that torpedo. Honestly, the Gnizenow could have healed it. At least some of it. While the Nicholas is going to be sitting very, very low on health. Now, the friendly team is trying to hold off on A. But obviously, there is a destroyer currently capping the A cap as well as the D cap. Uh, so, we do know at least some of the enemy team pushed towards D. But obviously, our meeting no resistance and they are probably aware uh that there is a group of ships pushing up through mid just look at this five ships are pushing mid right now and there's no resistance no resistance at all enemy team did nothing to really turn around try to combat them granted there is at least one battleship there is the colorado but Colorado versus angled battleships not gonna not gonna work out so well honestly I will I will probably fully admit that probably not gonna work out very well for him at all uh, he is showing a lot of broadside uh, to our trio of battleships and well granted the Sean horse and the good nows Dispersion is quite terrible, but even this broadside almost this broadside Colorado is going to go down uh, probably very very quickly so Our trio have 
pushed in and does look like there's two battleships that went over towards D and they are now starting to come around but at the moment the enemy team is ahead in ships but really just due to the fact that uh, now these five ships are essentially uh, flanking this fleet over on the western side the western side fleet have to decide which way to angle so they are in a quite a big predicament at the moment now we do know there's at least a destroyer over at a and he's probably gonna be coming back around uh, no look at there there's a moss currently spotted for just a moment uh, pizza is currently focused on trying to take down this Colorado and there are those torpedoes in from the moss looks like pizza is going to eat at least one but only took about about 11,000 points of damage and that Colorado finally goes down to the Mutsuki and now our trio can start beginning begin to focus on the other ships out west and hopefully take out this Konigsberg. Oh, look at there. There's a Citadel from the Konigsberg that was angled. Can we please finish him off? That would be nice. It does look like the Dunkirk has turned around. And I, I will have to say, the enemy team uh, was doing a really good job controlling uh, that position over at the A cap. Uh, our friendly team was not doing that good of a job. Uh, we were losing quite a bit of ships uh, left and right, but now the Gnai's now... I, I really have to say, I like this camo. This camo on this Gnai's now is very nice. Really do like it. Uh, but with the Gnai's now, it has quite a bit of secondaries. As you can see, the secondaries are opening up on both the Dunkirk and the Moss. Now, granted, the Gnai's now captain does not have manual fire control so obviously secondaries are not going to be overly accurate but hey at least they are firing firing in mass which is always good now the guys now and the shoran horse are really good brawlers uh a trio of them can do substantial amount of damage due to the fact of those torpedoes they do have and this Dunkirk is going to go down so very quickly. He bit off way too much. And it should go down in just a moment. Yeah. Poor, poor Dunkirk. Goes down to Lord F1 and the Sean Horse. And, I mean, granted, I, I once again, I will have to say, the enemy team did a really good job. Uh, just due to the fact that they got pincered like that, allowed... Uh, the trio, the trio uh, battleships to actually uh, kind of outflank them. So really good job there. All that's left is uh, the October Revolution. I believe there's also a... Yes, there is a Gnais now that was over at D, but he is currently nowhere to be seen. He might be pushing C, but I really do doubt it. And the Belfast just took out the Nicholas. So they only have one destroyer left on the enemy team, and that is the Moss. And two of their cruisers are hiding all the way up north. So we kind of have an idea of where everyone is. And yeah, once again, I, I'm not a overly big fan of pushing through the middle, but when it works, it works very, very well. Now, granted, could easily have stopped uh, had any of the enemy destroyers decided to turn around and provide torping coverage uh, when uh, our trio of heroes uh, decided to push up their mid, but unfortunately for them, they did not meet any resistance. Now, uh, Lord Ethelon has taken substantial amount of damage and he is trying to get behind some cover before he gets focused down by that Miyoko. And now Pizza is going to put, go ahead and push out and try to tank some damage. Uh, hopefully should take out this October. There we go. Heal. Kill secured right there, and now he can just focus down the Miyoko. 
Yoko is very, very low in health. Only 4,000 just needs at least one or two shells. Or, well, you know RNG. It just loves it to give you a citadel when you don't really need it. When you do need it, it doesn't like it. But that's actually going to be about it for this battle. Uh, it does look like the enemy Gnais now is starting to cap C. But obviously, it is too little too late. All that's left is the Moss up here, and obviously he is hoping to get some torpedoes off on Pizza. Uh, and yes, there they are, right there. <laughs> Fortunately, he was zipping around, dodging, going left and right. The usual, using Wazda hacks whenever possible. So, not a bad game. Definitely, definitely a, a tr tactic that might be fun. But still would not recommend it. But this is going to be it for this episode of Fun Day Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.